Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am Lime Green. Today I wanted to come to you guys with a Valentine's Day tutorial slash review. Get ready with me. I'm going to be reviewing the Julia's Place. This is the Berries by Julia. This is the box. It's in this cute little box. Oh, and check out my nails, y'all. I did them all by myself. So I'm gonna take the package out and this is the cute little palette. Look how gorgeous these colors are. They are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna, um, so enough of me rambling, I'm going to take off my eyelashes, put some powder underneath my eyes and jump into it, so. Okay, so I have my eyes primed. I am using the P. Louise Eye Base. This is like the nude color, the 0.5. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Tap my brush, pick up some pigment. Tap, use my dandy mirror. I love this mirror. This above my crease as my transition shade. And then this is the Morphe M514 brush. Okay, so I went ahead and you know, so yes, I have the color on my upper um, crease area while I'm blank right now, but check me out. So next I'm going to go in with my what brush is this, y'all? <laughs> the M506 brush. This is by Morphe. I'm going to go in with the shade right here. I'm going to put this into my crease. So I'm going to tap it, get some color on there, and apply it. Ooh. This plies. This color. This color is so pretty, y'all. So I'm just plugging it into my crease at the same time trying to blend it in with the transition shade. Okay, so I have plugged the color into my Mama. crease. This is how it's looking. Mama. Mama. Okay, sorry about that y'all. My baby's TV was messing up. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade. I'm still going to use the M506. I'm going to use. I'm still using the same brush. I just cleaned it off with my brush cleaner. So this shade right here. And I'm just going to only put this in the crease at the bottom corner. I just want to darken that up only. Hmm. It's not getting that dark for me, so I'm going to switch to the other shade which was this one. I'm gonna to switch to this one. I'm impatient. I like to see an instant show of color. I see something now, okay. So I'm just gonna keep building that up right here in this area. And excuse me if y'all see like patchiness right here. I still got, I got foundation missing from down there. So yeah, I was at school all day and I kept having to wipe my nose because I'm getting over a cold. So I'm gonna keep building that in. My camera about to die, one second. Okay y'all, so I did put that color in my, can y'all see that I darkened it up? So next I am going to go in and cut my crease and then we are gonna finish this look up. I think I might add some more of that purple on there, but in person it looks dark enough. So I'm just gonna leave it alone on camera and make it looks a little bit light, but yeah, let's continue. Okay, so I cut my crease 
and I am ready to apply this shimmer shade right here. I'm just going to get some of the shimmers on this brush. Beautiful color. I wish it was like a light color of a, like a light color shimmer in this palette. Okay, so I put that color on my lid. On camera, it does not look like it's a difference, but I really did put that shimmer shade on my lid, y'all. Next, I'm going to blend in my outer crease with the lid color. So I'm just gonna apply that purple shade and blend it in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes back on and I'll be right back. I'm back YouTube. I just finished my look and I hope you guys like it. Let me show y'all. It is straight popping, lacking, all that. So um, I wanted to show you guys the lip product that I used. I had used the Sephora 99 shade. This was inside like a, um, a gift set. And I'm also using the Milani 24 Cherish. So I used these two shades to do an ombre to mimic the same eye, to mimic the um, eyeshadow. So I hope you guys like it. So I really do honestly like this palette. This palette is so gorgeous to me. I The only thing that I wish was in this palette was a lighter shimmer shade, like a pale, rosy gold type shade. That would uh, that would have been straight, popping, gorgeous, all that in a bag of chips. It would have been that. So overall, I do still like the palette. I do recommend it. It was only $13.99. And yeah, I cannot wait to try the other ones. I definitely want to try the purple one, but at the time it was sold out. But when I get my coins, I will be buying it and I will be re re and I will be reviewing it for you guys. So that is all on this look. So I hope you guys like this Valentine's Day look idea and whatnot. Tell me what you guys think. Also, give me some more ideas so that I can film it for you all. And thanks so much, guys, for watching. Love you all. Bye.